Hello, here we are to show you a stage wave demo. And here you have an example of the installation that you can do with your bands. As you can see, the first thing we have is a digital console, in this case the Behringer X32 Rock, that is connected through USB with his X USB card to a computer that is running the StateWave server. This computer is in turn connected by network cable to our router. In this case, we are using the Tenda AC23 that is indicated for four phones or wireless devices. Then our client devices connect to the router. It can be through Wi-Fi, like this phone that we have here, or through a network cable, as is the case with this iPod tablet here that is connected by network cable and this Windows computer that is running the stage wave client that is also connected by a network cable to the router. Let's have a look now to how the stage wave server application works. The server application has several sections. The first one is the audio devices section. Here we can choose which audio device to use as stage wave input. In this case, we choose the USB card of the X32 console. And we can also choose the audio output that we want to use. The audio output will be used for the monitor technician to connect his headphones to the computer. And in this way, help the musicians to create their monitoring mixes. Also, here we can enter the audio configurations. We can choose the sample rate, the buffer size, and uh, other options that have more to do with the graphical interface of the system. Then I want to talk to you about the mixer, the local mixer of StageWave, of StageWave server application, which is used by the monitor technician to do a local mix, so he can, in the same computer, to help the musicians to make their monitoring mixes. He can, in addition to that, to configure uh, on the board that he is using, he can configure channel icons, channel names, and uh, the stereo linked channels, and you can also block channels. Then, in the devices section of uh, the phones connected to the system, van devices, we have the devices connected to the server. In this case, we have three. And here, we have several options. The most important thing is that by clicking on any of them, we enter in a mirror mode. It means we can control the musician's mix in real time. We can help him and every change that we make here in the local mix will be reflected as well in the musician's device. To exit, we just press the X. And also we have several options that we can use between the server computer and the client device. We can identify one of the client devices, one or more as a leader, and that means that in the client device we'll also be able to link channels, and to set channel names, and to change icons and block channels. Then we can, uh, for example, we can rewrite or send a local mix, the one that we have here, to the phone or the computer of the clients or the musicians. We can save a mix in the bank of mixes, as I will show you in a while. We can send the mix from one device to another, with this option. And finally, we can deactivate a device. I mean, if we want to remove a device from the band because it's no longer being used, for example, we can deactivate it from here. Then we go to the bank of mixes or mixes bank section. Here we have two panels. One is the boards panel and the other is the mixes panel. The boards are the configuration that we have in the mixer, where we have icons, names, link channels, and blocked channels. This is the configuration of a board. 
To save a new board, we just have to click here and to give it a name. I already have some boards saved. For each board, I can have a number of mixes. So, by selecting a board, I can add a mix and simply give it a name and add it. And this way I saved the mix that I have configured here in the local StageWave mixer. Now, let's see the mobile application, the most entertaining part. So, I'm gonna put my headphones on and I'm going to record the phone screen and the audio at the same time so you can listen to the audio that we get here. We turn on because it was standby. We have the channel list. All the channels that we are sending from the server application. So what can we do in this mixer? Exactly the same things that we can do with the local mixer. Volume up, volume down. We can pan channels, what is give panoramics. In this case, the trombone is playing and we are going to pull to the left. You are listening right now. Or we just leave it in the center. We can to mute the channel. We can let only that channel to be here or the channels that we choose. We can put each channel in a group. For example, here they have the three winds in a group. I could change the channel, remove him from this group. Now he's out of this group, but I'm going to keep it inside the same wind group. That way, from the groups menu, I can control the volume of the winds. Or pan all the winds one side. We also have a detail view for each channel. In this view, we have a better control of all the parameters that we have seen. The volume, the panning, the mute control and the solo control. Something important that we can also do in StageWave is that we have compressor and equalizer independent for each channel and for each phone. Each phone can set its compressor parameters into each channel, independently. Let's have a look. If we turn on the compressor in the kick drum channel, let's give it a, a lower threshold. It already starts to compress the signal. We also have presets. They come with the system and we can also add our own presets. We also have the equalizer. Each channel has its own independent equalizer. By turning it on, we can change the equalization of that channel. This is the view of the mixer. The other parts of the application are also interesting. The one we have seen is the mixer, but we can also see the band here. Here we can see the list of devices that are connected to the system. And something very interesting that we can do is copy the mix of one of those devices. That way, if a bandmate have a good mix and he wants to share with the others, we just um, hit the bottom copy mix. In that moment, mix will be copied immediately. We have the mix bank where we can save it seems to use them later and it's just to press the button to add it and we put a name to our mix and we can edit or load it for another moment and finally we have the performances view 
This view is very, very important to know how the system is working in real time. We have two indicators, and these indicators belong to network and device. The network indicator tells us the performance of the network, if the network is having loses or timeout. The device indicator tells us if the phone is being able to process the audio. This has a direct influence with this buffer size indicator. We are able to increase or decrease the buffer size. What's it for? With this option, we will be able to increase the latency of the system to have a more stable audio or decrease the latency. The idea of this is to find a minimum possible value as soon as I have a stable audio. If you look now, I put it at the minimum value and I have a slightly less stable audio. All through, as you can hear, it's not perceived much instability. The idea is that you keep these indicators on green. Let's go up a bit. Then we have the safe mode. This is for stabilize the signal when we don't have a stable network. In this case, the network is very stable, so we don't need to use it. Down here we have a volume booster to increase the volume in case our audio device on our phone doesn't even have enough power, we can help a little bit more with the booster volume switch. And finally, we can give a name. We can edit our name and the role that we have. For example, as I am playing piano, I can text here, piano. And that is the tutorial for the client application. In turn, this application is running here on this iPad and it works totally the same. The only difference is that it is connected by network cable, as you can see here, and therefore it has Wi-Fi disabled. Something important that you always have to know about the phone application. Always remember to prepare the phone very well. For this you have to always turn on the airplane mode, turn off the Bluetooth, turn off GPS location services, and turn on the Wi-Fi of the system. Also, this application, and in the same way, it's available for Windows and Mac. So, you can use your computer to receive the audio and audio receiver. So, if you don't have a phone compatible with the system, but you have a computer, you can use it to receive audio on stage wave and control the monitoring mix or connect your headphones directly to the computer or use an audio interface. And this is the tutorial for the client application of stage wave.